In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can start drop shipping from AliExpress to eBay. This is going on eBay. Everything that you need to know to get started for completely free is going to be included in today's video. So if drop shipping on eBay is something that you've been looking to start, then make sure you check this video all the way through. Before we get started, there is an easy to reference cheat sheet with everything that I'm going to be talking about throughout this video, along with a few extras. And if you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below the hashtag AliExpress to eBay. And let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and commented that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. So for this, there's gonna be a few different things that we need to do, but everything's gonna be broken down for you in seven easy steps. So the very first thing that we need to do is create an account. And we're gonna create our account first with eBay. So right now we're on the eBay website. Let's just go up here to the top left and click on sign in. It's gonna take us to this page over here. Now we can choose to either create an account where we input all of our details. We can log in with our Facebook account, which I don't like using my Facebook account. It kind of creates problems when you wanna try logging in a different way. And you can also sign up with your Google account or with your Apple ID. I typically go with my Google account, but for this case, let's just go ahead and create an account with our own information, putting everything manually. So on this page, we're gonna get two options. We're gonna create either a personal account or a business account. Always go with the personal. You want to start with the personal because that's just going to make things a lot easier and quite frankly, a lot cheaper. So once we have everything ready, let's just go ahead and create a personal account. So now that you have your account created, you have a simple buyer account. So you can go on eBay and you can start purchasing stuff, but that's not what we're here for. So what we're going to do next is simply click on over where it says my eBay and click on selling. From here, it's going to ask us a bit of information. So just go ahead and put wherever you're from. In my case of the US, let's go ahead and put our street address. All right. So once we have our information, let's go ahead and continue. And then once you hit that continue button, then you're going to be taken to your seller overview page. So just click on, okay, got it. And you're pretty much it. You're ready to start selling. So now we can go ahead and easily create an item by simply clicking list an item. Then it's going to ask us a few questions, but this isn't the way that we're going to be posting our items. We're going to be going about the automated way, which makes things a lot easier. So let's skip this for now. Now, the next thing that we need to do is actually optional, but it would be to create an AliExpress account. So right now I'm over at the AliExpress website. I'm just going to click on up here where it says welcome and register. Now you have the option to either register with your email or phone number or any of these other options. Honestly, I have my account already set up through Google. So let's just go ahead and do it that way. So we're going to click on Google, select the account that we want to register, go ahead and continue that. And that's it. Now we have an account with AliExpress connected to our Google account. So now the two most basic steps are completely done and over with, and you're two steps closer to actually start making some money with your dropshipping business. Now, the next thing is to start looking for products that are going to be winning. We need to find best selling products and we need to find products that are going to have a wow factor along with some sort of value. So these products need to provide some sort of value to our customers. So that way it can entice them to purchase it even more. Now there's a few different ways to get this done. So product research is the most crucial part of the entire thing. If you don't have good products, if you don't have products that spark interest in people, then people are just simply not going to buy your products. They're just going to leave them in your eBay store and they're just going to be collecting digital dust. So how do we find best selling products? There's a few different ways to do this. The first one is going to be through AliExpress's best sellers options. Now, the first way we're going to do is by going to the AliExpress top ranking page. Now, for some very strange reason, I couldn't find a link to this page through the actual AliExpress website. Maybe I just missed it. But if you simply Google AliExpress top ranking, the first page you see is going to be this one. So on here, you're going to have the top ranking products on AliExpress. So these are the ones that people are purchasing the most on a frequent basis. So these are the most trending products that you're going to find on AliExpress. These are the most popular ones. And the good thing is, is that you have it broken down through categories. So regardless of whatever niche you're in, you can easily filter through some of these. So let's check out consumer electronics, which consumer electronics is actually one of the more popular niches on eBay. So if you click through there, you're going to see the top selling. So you're going to see tons of iPhone cases, some smartwatches, and some of the most popular items. Now keep scrolling. You're going to find tons of different deals at some pretty good prices. Now, aside from that, the other option you have is through social media. So TikTok is the number one place for people to start drop shipping now because of how much reach you have to a completely new demographic of people. So because of that, it's no wonder that a lot of people are advertising their products on TikTok, whether that be an actual ad or simply just making a video of the product, trying to get people interested in it and asking you about it or directing them to your link. Now, one of the ways that you can do this is go to TikTok.com, whether that be on the website or on the app and search up the hashtag TikTok made me buy it. Now, the best thing about this is that you can either search up TikTok made me buy it and just look for generic products or any products, or you can niche down even further and simply look up hashtag TikTok made me buy it dogs. And as you can see, you have tons of different products here that are specifically related to dogs. Now from here, what you're going to do is look for the most recent videos. 
I suggest going back between one to three months. Don't go more than three months because at that point, some products might be irrelevant, but one to three months should be the sweet spot with one month being the best. You wanna look for videos that are getting massive views. Some like these. So this one has 25 million. This one has just over half a million at 686,000. So pretty much anything that you can find over 50 to 100,000 views, chances are it's a trending product that has potential. Of course, you also wanna make sure that, like I said earlier, it provides some sort of value and that it has some sort of wow factor. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's check this one out. Why does this one have 25 million views? Why you need this for your dog? First off, it's telling us why we need it. And it's because it is a portable water bottle. So you're taking your dog on the go. You're taking them for a walk. You can give them treats. You can give them some water and you can even pick up their poop with a poop shovel. That's actually pretty cool. You know what? I might add this to my store. Actually, this is a really cool product, but you see the wall factor is that it has all of these features built into one. The value is that it makes pretty much walking your dog an absolute breeze. It helps you carry everything in one package and a little bit extra with the poop bags and being able to scoop it up with the scoop that it comes with. Now, the other option you have is using the AutoDS handpicked product section. Now through here, you're going to find some of the most trending items on the market. These all have some of the quickest shipping speeds along with some of the best value as well. And if you want to start branding your products as well, some of these even have the option to do that too. Not only that, but you also have different categories that you can filter from so you can find whatever's relevant to your niche. And to take things even further, let's go ahead and click on one of these. You get information on the product ranking. So we give you a score based off of its popularity and its demand. So over here, you have an engagement score and you have a saturation score. So on the engagement, how much is it being talked about on social media across all platforms? Well, right now it has an engagement score of about 20, which means it has mild engagement. So it's still building. You can jump on this one right now and you can start building on social media. You can be one of the early adopters on TikTok or on Instagram. Now, what about the saturation score? So this one has a saturation score of 40, which means it's about to start getting up there where a lot of people are selling it. Now, a lot of people are selling it, but not a lot of people seem to be advertising it on social media or creating a lot of hype around it. So that's what you're looking for. You want to find a product that has demand that has a pretty good saturation score, not too high because you don't want too many people selling it, but you want to try to mix that along with somewhat of a medium to low score for the engagement. So that way you can be one of the early adopters and start creating hype around the product and be one of the first people that actually starts getting videos going viral for this. Not only that, but if you scroll down, you also have a few different ad examples. So these are actual ads that are running on both Facebook and TikTok that can help give you inspiration on how to structure your own ad. Now, not only do you have access to all of these different products to dropship, but now you even have access to print on demand. So here directly through AutoDS, you have the option to start printing t-shirts, hoodies, shorts, cups, tumblers, merchandise, whatever you want. All of these different options are now available to you through the AutoDS platform. Now, one huge seller on eBay, especially during the winter time is hoodies. So if you ever have any ideas for hoodies, if you have any designs that you've created and you want to print them, you can do that through here. So let's take a look at this hoodie right here. This one is between 16 to $19 and you can upload your design to this. You can also change the different color to however many colors you want to offer and you can create multiple varieties. You can create different designs. You can create different products and create them with your own unique style and your own unique artwork. Or if you have somebody else that does your artwork, you can do that as well. But point is, you can also offer these print on demand items on your eBay store with AutoDS. And let me tell you, hoodies, they have a huge profit potential. You can source them for about 16 to $19 with about $7 for shipping, and you can easily sell them for about 45 to $60. Now, if you don't have an account with AutoDS, getting started is super simple. It only costs $1 and you get a trial for two weeks. Now, after you sign up for AutoDS, you need to connect your eBay store to your AutoDS account. And doing that is pretty easy. Up here, you can have the option to add a store. In my case, I already have a few different stores added, so I don't have that option. But go ahead and click on that, even if you already have a store. And then you're going to have your different stores listed here. Then simply click on add store on the bottom. Or if you already clicked on add store from the main page, this is what you're going to see. Then you're going to click on over here where it says eBay, continue. Your eBay target is going to be whatever location you're drop shipping to. In my case, it's going to be the United States. Then we're going to click on finish. Then it's going to ask you to sign on. Once you sign on, you're going to authorize a connection between AutoDS and eBay and you're done. Your store and your AutoDS platform will be connected. All right, so we've done some product research. We found a few different products that we want to offer and we want to import them to our eBay store. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, there's a few different ways to do this. 
The easiest way to do this is going to be through the AutoDS platform with our automated product importer. So after doing a bit of research, I realized that one of the best selling niches on eBay has to be home goods. So I found a blender jet. Now this blender jet is only about $15 currently. Typical price is supposed to be 62, but if it ever does go back to that regular price, I'll just look for a different supplier. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and click on the item up here. I'm going to take this link and I'm going to cut it. Then I'm going to go back to my AutoDS platform and I'm going to click on add product. Now through add product, I'm going to click on single product, paste in the URL on here and simply click on edit now. Now what this does is it imports the product to my draft section where I can make any necessary edits. So once the item is added to our draft section, this is the page that we're going to see. This is where we can optimize and edit anything that we need. Now the title here, you can see that it's actually pretty long. It's 128 characters. We need to get it down to 80 and you can either rewrite this yourself or you can optimize the title with AI. This is a good thing about the AutoDS platform. You can optimize your title and your description with AI directly on the platform. Aside from that, you have the category that it's going to be listed under. You have any tags to be able to keep up with the analytics of the product. So you can see more or less how well it's performing, the different types of shipping methods. My suggestion to you, always stick to the cheapest with tracking. It's going to be for one, the cheapest, and two, you're always going to be guaranteed tracking number. Cheapest is going to give you the cheapest pricing, but without tracking. And fastest, a lot of the times is going to be a bit too expensive because they give you some ridiculous options on these websites. Now, as far as the payment policy, the shipping policy, and your return policy and all that stuff. So this is where it can get a little bit complicated. What I do is I check this right here, use dynamic shipping policies. So this is pretty much going to take the shipping policies from your AliExpress product and it's going to apply everything appropriately. Then looking over the description, you have the different options on here. Let's optimize this title really fast with AI. I'm going to make it sound professional and balanced. Just go ahead and AI write that. Let's click on save and it's still a little bit long. So we're going to have to delete a few things, but that's totally fine. So we have the compact electric fruit juicer, portable blender for fresh smoothies, orange juice, and more rechargeable multi-functional mixer. That's actually pretty good, but I think I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff that's irrelevant. So let's take off fruit, leave electric. It's not a juicer. So let's do compact electric portable blender for fresh smoothies and more. And let's add this towards the beginning. Okay. So compact electric portable blender, rechargeable multifunctional mixer. Perfect. So let's just go ahead and check out the description. This is what you're going to see in the description of the eBay page, the different variations. This is where you can edit your pricing and you can bulk edit. So you can select everything through here, click on the edit button, and then you can adjust everything as you see fit. So let's say you have an 8% fee, which is pretty much more or less what eBay charges as a final value fee. So let's do an 8% fee. So this is going to immediately increase our prices by 8% to compensate for the fee. Default quantity, we're not going to touch that. How much we want to earn in profit as a dollar amount or as a percentage amount, or we can also set the sell price. So how much do we want to sell it at? Now, what I like to do is I like to add my fees. So I know eBay is going to charge me about 8%. So I'm going to put that on here. Then I want my profit to be at least a 40% profit. Then click on update. And we're going to see that the price increased to $33 and 13 cents. So let's click on one individually. And we can see that we're buying it for $21. Our fee is 8%, which is what eBay is going to charge us. It has a 30 cent fee here. For some reason, we can take that off. We don't need that. Then our profit percentage, we want 40% profit. Same thing here. We can delete that. And then our sell price is going to be $32 and 47 cents, giving us a profit of $8 and 54 cents, even including the fees. So this profit is after this 8% fee. Let's take this off. And you can see that in order to keep our 40% profit, we're going to have to sell it at 29.88 to compensate for the 8% in fees. But to make it easier, let's just do it like that. And that's how much we're going to make selling it for that much. Now under the images, then you have all of the different pictures on here. You can edit, you can add, delete. We have a built-in image editor, so you can add any text if you need to. And once you're ready for this product to go live, all you have to do is click on save and import. Once you click save and import, then the item is going to be live in your store. Now, whenever somebody comes in and they make a purchase from your store, what's going to happen is AutoDS is going to make that purchase for you through your AliExpress buyer account. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can also use the fulfilled by AutoDS service. This is our preferred way of doing things because what happens is instead of using your buyer account, AutoDS is going to use its own buyer accounts to make these purchases. So your account's never going to be touched. And in order to do this, what you need to do is simply top up your balance over here and make sure you have enough money to cover the purchases. Now, what about promoting your products? How can you promote your products from eBay directly? Well, for this, there's two different options. You have the eBay promoted listing standard and the eBay promoted listings advanced. Now to get started on this, all you have to do is simply go over to your eBay seller hub. For this, you're going to click on my eBay and go to selling. Then you're going to click on your listings and you're going to look through here. 
So these are all of your different listings that you have listed. And then you're going to find a tab that says promoted listings. Here you can choose whatever item you want to promote. So let's say we want to go with this one. I want to promote this product. And this one's giving me the option for the promoted listing standard. Here, all I have to do is click on this to turn it on. I can choose either a fixed ad rate or a dynamic ad rate. Pretty much what this means is a fixed ad rate is you're going to set the percentage that you want to be charged. And this percentage is coming out of your final value. So whatever you sell, it's going to be the 8% final value plus this percentage, whatever it is you want it to be. Now, if you do fixed ad rate, you can set it yourself. If you do dynamic ad rate, then eBay is going to set it for you. Now, the next one is going to be the promoted listings advanced. And for this, you're going to click on the next tab over, which is the marketing tab. And here you're going to create a campaign. So let's go ahead and get started. And then the first thing you're going to need to do is actually choose a store plan. Now, this is going to be more than anything for more advanced users and people who are already getting volume sales. So if you're somebody that's already established on eBay or once you already get established on eBay and you start making sales, this is going to be the way that you want to go. This is going to help you grow a little bit better. It's going to help you scale a bit more efficiently, but there is a cost associated to this. So to start, my recommendation is simply create a free seller account, start listing through there, try to get organic sales, try to promote your products on other platforms such as TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, blogging, things along those lines, things that you can do for free. And once you start getting sales, then you can start looking into the advanced way to actually promote your items. But until then, try organic marketing. If you want to have a little bit of a boost, then go with the promoted listing standard and take it from there. So the next thing that we need to do is focus on our order fulfillment. What happens after somebody places an order on our eBay store? Well, the first thing that's going to happen is they're going to place the order and they're going to pay for it. Once that order is paid for, it's going to be redirected with AutoDS directly to your supplier. Now that supplier on AliExpress is going to fulfill the entire order. They're going to update the platform with the tracking number. And then that tracking number is going to be automatically updated into your eBay store through again, AutoDS. So as you can see, the entire thing is completely automated. So that way, all you have to do is focus on scaling, focus on finding more products and adding more products to your eBay store. Remember that eBay is a numbers game. It's not necessarily fully niche based. You can sell pretty much whatever you want on eBay and a huge variety of things. And you still have the potential to make tons of sales. But one thing you really need to keep in mind is on eBay, and try to upload as many products as you can. Maybe even more. Now, once your orders are fulfilled, you're pretty much done, right? No, there's one last thing that you need to focus on. And that is probably one of the most important things. And that is your customer service. You're going to have people messaging you. You're going to have people asking you about your order. You're going to have people asking you about products. It's important to get to them at a maximum of one day. So Try not to pass the day before you respond to your customers, because by that point, either your customer is going to forget that they wrote to you or they're going to be upset that you're taking over a day to get back to them about their order. Now, one really cool thing about the AutoDS platform is that you can actually facilitate this entire thing. So you have the option to reply back to your customers through the AutoDS platform. So for eBay specifically, you have this little customer support tab down at the bottom. And here you're going to get all of the messages that you get from eBay, whether that be system messages or messages from your customers. Then you can choose whichever one you want, like this one right here, and you can reply back to whatever inquiry they may have. Aside from that, you also have the option to add virtual assistants to your AutoDS platform. So if you're working with somebody like, let's say on Fiverr, that's helping you out with answering inquiries and stuff like that, then you can add them to your virtual assistant page and you can have them have access specifically to only something like this page. So if you only want them being able to respond to customers, you can give them access to only this page. If you want them to upload products, you can do that as well. You can be specific with what you want them to access. And that's exactly how you can get started dropshipping from AliExpress to eBay. As you can see, it's extremely simple. It's really easy to get started. It's really easy to get the entire thing set up. Huge thank you to everyone for watching. Remember, if you want access to that sheet, to the cheat sheet, make sure you comment down below, hashtag AliExpress to eBay, and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then just make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos coming out, whether that be for dropshipping or for print on demand. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you guys next time.